Who do you want to be eaten by, eh? T-Rex. And oh, there he is. <laughs> she gave me a shock. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World Evolution, our modern little series where there has been actually a lull. It seemed like there was a lull when it came to modding in Jurassic World Evolution. This is probably because uh, the community was just behind the scenes trying to create mods. And seeing as the community is not, you know, massive, like the team that Fronty have, uh, mods that come out for this game are gonna be not as fast as you would. Actually saying that, Frontier are quite slow with doing updates for this game anyway, so hey. <laughs> anyway, anyway, here we go. We are showcasing a new, a couple of new mods. Some new dinosaurs, in fact. Uh, this is a terrain overhaul mod. If you want to make that scene with the Allosaurus and the Diplodocus, I think it is, from walking with dinosaurs in the salt plains. This is it. This is the one you need. I don't know exactly if it changes, does it change everything? Uh, yeah, everything is just sand textured. <laughs> it's pretty easy to install as well, if you know how. Frontier not too long ago, put up a post. They put up an image of an Allosaurus and everybody who saw that post thought that this was Frontier giving the green light for mods, which is to be understood because the Allosaur in the image turned out to be the walking with dinosaurs one that obviously was submitted or some sort of community content uh, person at Frontier saw and thought, yeah, I'm gonna post that, that looks awesome. And then when everyone commented on it, saying that it is in fact a mod, they decided to quickly get rid of the evidence. <laughs> so poor bugger at Frontier was held accountable for that. And she was like, oh, don't, I didn't know. But look at this guy, it is not a homalocephalid, no. No, 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 we are merging two worlds together. The Isle and Jurassic World Evolution, kind of. It's not the model from the Isle. Um, I'm sure Dondi would have something to say about that if it was just taken. <laughs> Maybe you'd speed up with the update on the aisle. <laughs> Sick burn, bro! This is the taco, also known as the Cetacosaurus, which is just adorable little bundle. Now, I mean, you can't get much adorable, more adorable, I should say. Oh, look at it in the grass. Of course, it has the same sound effects. The model has changed, though, and the skin and everything. Oh, it looks so cool. Look at him. He's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the homalocephaly in this game is adorable anyway. Um, and this thing. Oh, it's so cute. It's a shame that there's not more like species of this animation set. I think homalocephaly is down there with, I think it's the only one that has this animation set. Otherwise, we could have the homalocephaly and the taco in an enclosure together. How adorable would that be? It'd be like a tiny little petting zoo. And again, something that um, frustrates me with this game is that you can't have dinosaurs just in the wild. Uh, or sorry, you can't have dinosaurs um, with people. Even if it's something as harmless looking as this cute little boy. Oh, look at him! <laughs> look at him, one little tail feathers. Feathers? Feathers, James? God, learn to speak English. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, this guy is absolutely adorable. No, I didn't say, hey, Google, go away. My phone just turned on. Yeah, that's something that I would really have loved. In Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, if you guys know, you would have watched my series. If you have, thank you. Come again. If you make your customers, your Ogyaksama, feel incredibly safe, as in placing lots of cameras, turrets, that sort of thing, uh, they will, in turn, feel safe around dinosaurs. Certain dinosaurs, I should say. Look at them go! <laughs> oh, they're adorable! They have a little... Oh, that's so cute! They're all running about! Hold on, I need to release all of them. I've, I've made all the different types of skins. And actually, Homalocephale has a load of different skins. Look at you! Oh, wow. That's really cool. And they're not just the same skins that the Homalocephale has. They're, here it comes! Da, 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 da. Stingray! Stingray! Ba, da, da, da. Oh, you're joining in the community, Sharon. You see that post that Frontier did? Everyone thought that that was them giving a green light to mods! Idiots, they deleted it! <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's nice. They have, they, they even given them a little beak as well. Wow. I mean, I think Homalocephale had a beak anyway, so that lend maybe have lended itself a lot easier 
to making this guy because the normal maps will have been more reflective. As you can see, the beak itself is more reflective. Um, and with normal maps, it depends what kind of maps because you can do specular and normal maps. Uh, I think it's specular, which is black means it doesn't reflect light and white means it's completely reflective. So maybe in the model itself, that would have been uh, gray. So all they needed to do was just edit the model and then they could have kept the beak. As you can see here on the toes, little tippy toes, they're a lot more reflective than the skin. Actually saying that, I don't know why there's reflection there. <laughs> in the back there. Oh no, it's white. Oh, my bad. Uh, do they blink though? Well, oh, look at him, he's being a chicken. He's bacarring around. So, I mean, this guy, look at it. I mean, this landscape as well just lends itself just so well to showcase these guys. I don't know why he's eating sand. We could say that he's eating bugs, but we know he's not even eating anything at all because that doesn't work in Frontier's land. <laughs> they don't eat like that. Actually, oh no, that's right. The Isle's implementing grazing. My bad. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. I want to make more Jurassic World Evolution content and I know that you guys are or have loved Jurassic World Evolution on this channel. And the modding has actually brought me back to it. Because how could you not make videos on these guys? They're adorable. They're so cute. And all, I mean, we've had so many different dinosaurs come, so many different models, so many things that we've wanted added to the game. And it's just a shame that um, Frontier have been locked into this corner, as it were, that they can't really embrace mods to the full extent. I mean, it makes sense, right? Unless Frontier had a dedicated modding. Uh, community, which I think some people have done. Didn't Ark do that? They had, like, the people who were, made really good mods were hired or something like that. Anyway, and their mods became legit. Um, but even then, they would have to have to say so from... Uh, Universal just want to cover themselves. Uh, pretty much. I'm sure that's the case. So, how about we see one thing that um, was almost pushed this video to happen. The Homalocephali, or should I say, the Sacosaurus, the Tacos, pushed it. This guy, however... Um, was 90% of the reason I was going to make this video. And let's see him. And I can say it's a he, because introducing... Wait. What? Wait, you don't have the right skin. What? Why do you not have the right skin? Oh, no! You're just a regular T-Rex. What's going on here? You shouldn't have that. Okay, so if you guys haven't noticed, this model is different. This is the book model from... Oh my god, I didn't realize. Okay, we're, we're gonna have probably... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save this and we're gonna... <laughs> okay, my bad. We'll have a look at that in a second. But first, we need to view this beauty and it's always from the wrong angle, isn't it? Are you ready, guys? Dinonychus, like you've never seen it before! Yeah, look! Claws facing the right way! Oh, Jim would be proud! <laughs> Although it's not feathered, which is interesting. However, I have on good authority that they are working on some really good feathered dinosaurs. I have seen a little bit of a preview of that, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like in the end. Um, maybe it's, I don't think it's Dinonic, because it might be the Velociraptor, but look at it! They've always got, they've got a weird head. Their eyes are so high up on the head and their eyebrows are so big. It makes them look like they're constantly serious. But uh, no doubt this... Oh, he's going for this guy. No! Well, if you're going to die, I want to... Oh, God. Okay, I barely had time. No! Oh, little stucco. Didn't stand a chance. And off you go. I'm sure you're going to try and kill something. <laughs> you do that thing like when a dog takes a wee or a poo and it does a little dance afterwards. So, why don't we release all the different colors of these guys? Oh, the colors of the rainbow. Or oh, the, the sepia tone rainbow, apparently. That looks cool. Now, how would you have felt if this is what Dinonychus looked like in-game? Base. So it had no fin on its head and it looked like that. I don't know. I think uh, I, I I like both. I like the other one too. I like the the shark fin on the head. It's odd, I will admit, but at least it's it looks a little bit different, I suppose. Oh no, they all die. <laughs> no. Well, this is what's gonna happen in it, I suppose. You know, I should hold on. Let me change this. There we go. We'll save the future tacos from death, shall we? <laughs> While we get to have a look at these guys. This one looked cool, though. Ooh. A dark green and a light green. Wow, I'm trying to get a good shot of that. Yeah, look at that. You know what? I don't think I've ever listened to them talk before. 
Ooh, that one's nice too. Oh, a blue one. <gasps> it's aquamarine. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a gemstone. Oh, we got more? Oh my god, there's loads. Okay, so these are all gonna be different colors. So that's what the base one looked like. It had a fin on its head. Oh, oops. I've released a Spinosaurus. <laughs> I thought they were all dead on it because I forgot. Oh, we got an orange one. Mm. God damn camera. It's these little lights on the side that make it go a bit funny. I wonder if that's always there or if that's just because now we can make lights. Were the lights always there from the start? Hmm. That's interesting. Because if they were, then actually adding those lights in wasn't much of a hardship for them, was it? <laughs> if they were always there. I think they were, actually. But I, I could be mistaken. No, I don't think they were because these are the old uh, hatcheries, aren't they? So no, I don't think they were. I think they did make those. Never mind, Fortini. You did a good job. <laughs> and this one's an evil one. Hmm. But now we're going to have a Blum and Spinosaurus coming, which I did not mean to release. Oh, I could have cancelled. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, well, we might as well see this beauty again. God, you look... Oh, wow, you look different. <gasps> I think you... Are you the base one? I can't remember. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. That is... That's the perfect Spinosaurus, that one. Do have another one actually. This oh no, you're not. You're a different type. Ah, oh yeah. Look at that on the log. It's gonna walk straight through the log because it thinks it's a rock, but still, it looked cool for a second. This is the one we saw, the basic. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I didn't realize that they did different types. Maybe there's like two types. There's like a dark one and a light one. Oh, I don't know. But if you haven't seen the video with this guy in. Well, now you have. <laughs> now you have seen. Well, you haven't seen the video. We've seen him in, in this one. It looks gorgeous. Now, the T-Rex. We we've only got two deaths, right? Yeah, they haven't killed anymore. However, they are, like, right next to them. Which is interesting. I wonder if the Deinonychus will attack the T-Rex. Hmm. Now, I didn't know which one was the book T-Rex. Um, apparently, it should have been the 1993 one. But that hasn't worked for me. Because that, that's the 1993 one that should technically be the bull T-Rex, I think? Or maybe it's just a sculpt. I'm not sure. But this is... Oh, look at that from the front. That's it. That's the shot from the petrol station. Look at that. No, stay still. Oh, unless you run. Unless you run. Unless you do that. Oh. Oh, you it? Oh. You're not it, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, you look gorgeous. Though. Look at that head. That's it, yeah. Papa's angry. I mean, this is supposed to be the bull T-Rex. Look at it. It's got a thicker neck. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is modeled on the animatronic. Oh, and there it is again. There is one that is the green one, and I think it's supposed to be the uh, the 2000 and odd T-Rex, which I am releasing. Yeah, there you go. I think it's supposed to be this one. This kind of looks closer to the bull T-Rex. It's a little bit too green, though. But there is, there definitely is a skin for it, but for whatever reason, I haven't got it working. <laughs> but look at it. Oh, it looks so good. His head's more squat, squished in, and fatty. I love it. Just little differences. There's so many different T-Rexes that exist in the Jurassic World franchise, or Jurassic Park franchise, I should say. And you've a normal a normal person, an you know, just an everyday viewer of Jurassic Park, wouldn't be able to tell the difference. We need um Oh hello, little cheat. Look at that, look at that gerbil, the big fat neck. Chungus. Junga, junga. Yeah, and the Jurassic World T-Rex is different as well. Uh, it's a lot skinnier. I don't really like the Jurassic World T-Rex. I mean, it's supposed to be the, you know, the 1993 T-Rex older, so it's skinnier and blah, 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 blah but I still don't like it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I don't like it. But then you've got the bull T-Rex that looks like this. You've got the original animatronic T-Rex. I mean, this is Stan Winston. This is modeled off that maquette as closely as they could do it. So this beautiful beast was created by Off The Rails 777 or Luca2951. We have the Spinosaurus is off in the distance just doing a little dance again. And we have the T-Rexes over here and everything's living in harmony because of settings. But they have done an absolutely stellar job on this guy. Again, so sorry that I haven't got the skins working right, but this one is pretty similar. It has the nose triangles there that the, uh, the animatronic has. Just imagine this one a little bit more desaturated and that's the actual skin for it. Oh, look at them, look at each other, it's gorgeous. 
You should be it. Why are you not working? Ah, there they are. So these guys are actually created by Digital Duck. I completely forgot about that. And that's the person that is working on the feathered raptors. But damn, do they just do an amazing job at these models? It's not the first one we've seen that is amazing quality. Where are those tacos? Where did they go? Ah, there they are. I <laughs> see them running in the distance. <gasps> and those guys were created by a Nano Lacensis. So we've got that person to thank for these lovely, adorable little cuties. Again, it's an absolute shame that we uh, we don't get to have these in PlayStation 4 or on Xbox uh, consoles either. And it's probably another reason why Frontier don't want to... Oh, God, they're going to they're gonna merge. They're going to merge inside each other. Oh, look at that. Whoa, I already glitched out as well. <laughs> That's probably another reason why Frontier aren't too keen on showcasing all of the mods. Because it'll make people feel um, like they're missing out for the guys that have bought it on console. I can completely understand that. I mean, look what you're missing. You're missing a T-Rex phasing through a giant rock. Incredible. So there's only one thing left to do. That's to turn the sandbox settings on. There we go. We're going to see a lot more deaths now. I am curious, however, will the uh, Deinonychus go for the T-Rex? In fact, they seem to be running straight for the tacos. Um, they're swapping with the T-Rex. Would you? Oh God! They're all good. Look at them. It's just that setting on. Boom! Making a bloomin' bee. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No taco! <laughs> Doesn't matter what gaming franchise you're in, you meet with the same fate. Absolutely destroyed by a carnivore. No! There goes another one. Yeah! <laughs> Bless it. Oh, they're all turning into little burgers. There's only like three of them left. Made that four, but this guy's, I think, about to line up for the other one. Look at them. They're all presenting themselves. You fools. I want to watch it in slow-mo. If we have to see him die, I want to watch it in slow-mo. Oh, no. Oh, caught down. Ripped. Yeah. No, it didn't take much to kill him. His head also went inside himself. Oh, look at that evil. <laughs> it's the eyebrow. That's what's weird about it. This is that weird eyebrow. Oh, no, these guys are attacking each other. Bye-bye, Mr. Tacos. I mean, it's cool that the uh, the T-Rex and the Velociraptor have their own attack animation, but no, I don't even think the raptors do that with the T-Rex anymore. Are you going to go kill another one? You just killed one. It's killing for sport. Thus ends the life of the taco. Who are you waiting for? Who do you want to be eaten by, eh? T-Rex. Oh, there he is. <laughs> she gave me a shock. <laughs> and the attack comes from the side. I wasn't expecting that. And there is going to be one of the T-Rexes that gets it. Oh, there you have it. Well, how are the Spinos getting on? Oh, they are fighting. Oh, oh, never mind. We The T-Rex killed the Spino. Ah, that's interesting. This, I'm assuming this one's going to die as well. Ooh, the bull T-Rex killed it. Well, there you go. Sucker JP3 went through production hell to give me that. Ah! Spino fanboys, suck it on a big fat Jungus Rexy. And there you have it, guys. I think we will end this episode here. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Again, big shout outs to the people who have worked on these mods. And eventually, I will get back into uh, creating some sort of playthrough. Or I'd love to do a live stream or something like that. But damn, my voice can't. I <laughs> the T Rex is nibbling on the corpse of a taco. Really? Is that, gonna, is that gonna suffice you, is it? It's like no meat there. You're getting nothing. But yeah, anyway, keep an eye. If I do do something like that, if I do 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 do, I will post it on, um, oh wow, that was a huge bit of meat. How did you get all, oh my god, there's a whole burger shop in that taco. Oh, good god. Yeah, keep an eye out my YouTube channel. If I do do a live stream, <laughs> again, again, um, I'll post an update on there or something like that. All my socials on Twitter and Instagram or something like that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, Leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.